Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to TMMS Educational Videos. In this channel, you will learn physics, chemistry and maths concepts of senior school. I have been teaching since 1981 and you can learn all the tricks and tips I have collected in all these years. Also, 80% of my students secure 90% plus marks and have a history of toppers of number of schools in the ICSC board exam. If you are new to my channel, click on that subscribe button and comment on what you think of it. I'd love to hear from you. Today we are going to see how to draw this DC motor in 3D. Can you see how it is to be done? It is definitely not going to take us two minutes, a little longer. So I suggest whenever you have a question to draw a DC motor, I want you to stick to the earlier 2D diagram that we have drawn. The link will be in the description box. But if you insist on drawing 3D diagram, it's going to take slightly longer. So during the examination, if you have extra time, then only you draw 3D diagram. Otherwise, stick to 2D diagram, which I have shown in my earlier video. To begin with, you should draw the axle, but it will not be vertical. It will be slightly at an angle. It will be slanting, approximately 7 centimeters. This point, you mark as the turning point. You come down 1 centimeter here and... You will draw the armature coil. This will be one centimeter on either side of the axle. And I'm going to mark the magnet one centimeter away. And again, this I'm going to take about two centimeter and two centimeter. Now, because this is a 3D diagram, I'm going to show the armature coil. And it will be parallel to the axle. So you slide this like so. Two centimeters. And this side also along the axle you slide it like so. So you get parallel line. That will be around two centimeter. Now you are going to come inwards with just a little bit of gap towards the axle. Can you see that? So that is where we are going to draw the rectangular coil moving up to the split rings like so. Make sure this is parallel to the axle and from here you will show the wire of the coil turning outward. This is where we will have S1 and this side S2 these ones are split rings or commutator now snugly fitting next to S1 and S2 will be the rectangular structures here which are going to be carbon brushes So this is your B1 and this is your B2 and just like how we did for 2D diagram exactly the same way I'm taking approximately 1 centimeter here and from here to here 2 centimeters from here to here 2 centimeters and then we will complete the circuit by leaving the gap for the key, for the cell and for the rheostat. You see, key will be slightly broader gap. For the cell, it will be narrower gap. This is the positive end, this is the negative end and this becomes the rheostat. And now we go towards the magnets. Now these magnets we have drawn for the magnets we will draw a line parallel again 2 cm this way and here also we will take 2 cm this way make sure that it is parallel to this 
just slide the ruler and then from here to here you take 2 cm from here to here take 2 cm now you have to show the three dimensional so you will have to show something like this and here also you will show something like this show the lower line like this to show the three dimensional structure and from here you are going to draw a parallel line again and it will be two centimeters and then you show the curve like this we'll call this as north we'll call this as south and now lastly we have to show the iron core that is the soft iron core which is laminated soft iron core and we just shade it like so and now this is north this is south and the current is going like so And so applying Fleming's left hand rule, we will have this arm turning up. If I call this as A, B, C, D, then C, D will be turning up and A, B will be turning down. So this is the anti-clockwise rotation. So as you can see that this takes slightly longer time. The 2D diagram you can draw in about 1 minute, 40 seconds, 50 seconds not a problem this definitely takes more time and so only if you have too much time on hand attempt this otherwise stick to 2d diagram but as i told you some of you may want to draw 3d diagram so i've shown you how to draw 3d diagram of dc motor and so now let us see how we label it the labeling will be exactly the same as i've shown you earlier there have you seen how to label the diagram nicely and neatly this will give you your full marks. Now, if you have too much time on hand, then only attempt for the 3D diagram of the DC motor. Otherwise, stick to the 2D diagram and the link of the 2D diagram, how to draw that diagram is already there in the description box. Now, tell me how you were able to draw this diagram very effectively, very fast, in how much time, Put it in the comment box. Let me know how you have been able to do this quickly and effectively. Okay. Thank you for watching.